Lover of my soul, merciful God, bring your servants close to your will. Welcome, friends. I'm glad that you're here. My name is Rabbi Shlomo Nachman Ben Yaakov, and this is Beta Muna's Kabbalat and Arbit Shabbat service for the 11th day of Sivan, 5781, which is to say May 22nd, 2021, according to modern secular calendars. Beta Muna uses the Sephardic Siddur, Levelezar, the Gutnik, Chumash, and Saba Odaseer's translation of Rebbe Nachman of Breslov's classic, Likate Maharan. Our Parsha this week is Nasol, Numbers 421 to 789. Our Haftara is Judges 13.2 to 25. Our lesson this week is based on Likate Maharan, Book 1, Number 34, 3B, 7D, and 8B. It's not quite as much reading as it may sound. Might of our Torah this week is entitled the Birkat Kohanim, the Priestly Blessings. We'll share these in our morning service, Bezrat Hashem. We now request the blessings of HaTorah. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'Mishvatoho V'Tzivanu Al Divrei Torah and with that, we turn to page 67 in our Sephardic Siddur, Lev Eleazar, and we invite Carol to read for us on page 67, Tehillim 29. A psalm to David. Ascribe to Adonai, O sons of the mighty. Ascribe to Adonai, glory and might. Ascribe to Adonai, the glory due his name. Prostrate yourselves before Adonai in the splendor of holiness. Adonai's voice is upon the waters. Almighty of glory thunders. Adonai is upon the many waters. The voice of Adonai is sounded with power. The voice of Adonai is sounded with beauty. The voice of Adonai breaks cedars. Adonai shatters the season cedars of Lebanon. He makes them leap like a calf, Lebanon and Syria like wild oxen. The voice of Adonai cars through flames of fire. The voice of Adonai makes the desert tremble. Adonai makes the desert of heavens tremble. 
The voice of Adonai causes hinds to calve and strips the forest bare. And in his sanctuary, all proclaim his glory. Adonai sat enthroned, even at the flood. Adonai sits enthroned as king forever. Adonai shall give strength to his people. Adonai shall bless his people with peace. Amen. So come with me now back to the very beginning of time, to the one who spoke 10 words, and through whose 10 words all of existence sprang into being, the Anna Bakoach. Anna Anna Bikoach. Good luck, Kabeo <laughs> Ah, <laughs> Come, my beloved friends, let us greet the bride. Let us welcome Ha Shabbat. The one Almighty heard us to hear, observe, and remember in a single utterance. Adonai is one. His name is one. One for fame, for glory, and for praise. So come, let us go and greet HaShabbat. She is the source of all blessings. From the outset, since the days of old, it was designated the last in creation, but the first in God's thought. Sanctuary of the king, the royal city, arise, come forth from the upheaval. For too long you have dwelt in the valley of weeping. He will now show you abundant pity. Wake up, wake up, for your light has come. Arise and shine, awaken, awaken. Let us utter a song, because the glory of Adonai is being revealed unto us. Come in peace, 
crown jewel of creation. Come with happiness, rejoicing, and jubilation amidst the faithful of God's treasured people. Come, bride. Come, bride. Come, Shabbat bride. We're on page 71 in our Sephardic Sidur Lev Eleazar. Would anyone care to read for us Tehillim number 92 in this translation or any translation that you might have available? Tehillim 92. I will. Shmuel. A psalm, a song for the Shabbat day. It is good to thank Anai and sing praise to your name, most high. To relate, your, to relate your kindliness in the morning and your faithfulness in the night. Upon tension, your, tension your instrument and lute, and meditation upon the harp. For you have given me joy at night with your good deeds, with the works of your hands, the hands that sing joyously. I don't know if you're profound are your thoughts. Uh, a simple thing cannot know, nor does it fully understand this. When the wicked bloom like grass and the evil doers blossom in this, so that they, they may be destroyed forever, but you will remain on high forever. And I for we have all your enemies. For we hold your enemies shall perish, all you will do shall be dispersed. You do uplifted my horn like that of a wild ox. I am saturated with fresh oil. My eye has seen the, the, the feet of those who spy on me. My ears have heard of the, of the downfall of the wicked who rise against me. Right, the righteous will blossom like a date palm. Like a sea in Lebanon, he will grow tall. Those planted in the house of that night will blossom in the courtyards of our God. They will be fruit, fruitful in old days. They will be full of sap and freshness. Declare that Anai is just. He is my stronghold in whom there is no injustice. Amen. Thank you for that, Shmuel. We appreciate it. Uh, David, are you up for Tehillim 93 this evening? You bet. All right. Wonderful. It's on page. Oh. Sorry, what? sorry. Just gonna tell everybody it's on page seventy-three. Please feel free to join us. Go ahead. Okay. I don't know my love, Gaius lavish, lavish. I don't know. Oh, he does ah, after come to well Baltimore, the honky sack me as the alamata. Nasu <laughs> Amen. Thank you for that, David. All of Israel have a share in the world to come. As it is written, all of your people shall be righteous. Another way of translating this in accurate is to say, all of your people are Sadakim. How about that? We are all Sadakim, and we have the potential to realize that even before the Olam Haba. Something exciting there for you. All of Israel have a share in the world to come. As it is said, all of your people are slash will be righteous. They will inherit the land forever because they are my plants, the work of my hands in which I take pride. We turn now to page number 89. With an everlasting love, you have loved the house of Israel. Your people, your Torah and commandments, statutes and laws you have taught us. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise, we discuss your statutes. And we're happy and we rejoice in the words of your Torah and in your commandments and statutes forever. Because they are our lives, Adonai. They lengthen our days, and upon them we meditate day and night. Never remove your love from us, Adonai. Baruch Adonai, who loves his people, Yisrael. 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad ואהבתה את אדוני אלוהיך בכל לבבך ובכל נפשיקה ובכל מאודיך והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוקים צבקה היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם ושבתיך בבתיך ובלקתיך בדרך וכשהוקפיקה ובקומיך וכשאתם לאור היודיך והיו לטורפות בין נקה, וכתב טעם על מזוזות בתקה, ובישרקה. פייג' 91. It will be, if you will vigilantly obey my commandments, which I command you this day, to love Adonai your God, and to serve him with your entire hearts and your entire souls, that I will give rain to your land in its proper time, the early autumn ring, rain and the late spring rain. You will harvest in your grain, your wine, and your oil. I will put grass in your field for your cattle. You will eat and be satisfied. But beware, lest you be swayed and turn astray to worship foreign gods or to bow down before them. Because if you do that, Adonai will reveal his fury and it will blaze among you. He will close off the heavens and there'll be no rain. The earth will not yield its produce. Then you would perish swiftly from the good land that Adonai is giving to you. So place these words of mine upon your hearts and upon your souls. Bind them as signs upon your hands. Let them be like frontlets between your eyes. Teach them to your children, speaking of them when you sit in your house, when you travel on the road, when you lie down and when you rise. Write them on the doorpost of your house and gateways in order that your days should be prolonged and the days of your children. upon the good land which Adonai swore to your fathers to give them, for as long as the heavens are above the earth. And Adonai spoke to Moshe the following words. Speak to the children of Israel. Tell them to make for themselves tzitzit at the four corners of their garments throughout their generations. They are to place with a tzitzit at every corner a thread of blue. This will be for you tzitzit. You will look upon it, and you will remember all the commandments of Adonai, and you will perform them. And you will not turn aside after your own hearts or your eyes, which could cause you to go astray. In order that you should remember to perform all of my mitzvot, you will be holy to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who brought you out of Mitzrayim, the land of Egypt, to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. And this holy congregation of Beit Amunah heard these words, and they all said, Emet, true. Adonai, our God, is Emet. And faithful is all of this. And it is permanently established with us that he is Adonai, our God, and that there is nothing besides him, and that we, Israel, are his people. He who liberated us from the hand of kings, he is our king. He who redeemed us from the grasp of all the tyrants. He is the Almighty who exacts payment and punishments from our oppressor, who brings retribution upon all the enemies of our souls. He sustains our souls with life, and he does not allow our feet to slip. He makes us tread upon the high places of our enemies. He exalts our strength over all those who hate us. The Almighty. who took vengeance upon Pharaoh with signs and wonders in the land of the Hamites, he slew in his wrath all the firstborn of Egypt, but he brought out his people Israel from their midst to everlasting freedom. Underline that word, freedom. He led his children through the divided parts of the Sea of Reeds, but he drowned their pursuers and their enemies in its depths. His children saw his mighty power, and we praised him, and we gave thanks to his name. His sovereignty we willingly accepted. Moshe and the children of Israel sang unto you, Adonai, with great joy. And they all said, Who is like you among the gods, Adonai? Who is like you? You are adorned in holiness, awesome in praise, performing wonders. Adonai, our God, we, your children, beheld your sovereignty at the sea. And in unison, we all praised you. 
proclaiming your royalty, we declared, Adonai will reign forever and forever. Hence it is written, Adonai has liberated Yaakov, present tense, has liberated Yaakov and redeemed him from a hand mightier than his own. Barukata Adonai, who has redeemed Israel. Our Father, make us to lie down in peace. Our King, raise us up again to good life and peace. And spread over us your sukkah, your shelter of peace. And direct us, our King, to better ourselves through your good counsel. Deliver us speedily in your great name for your sake, and shield us, spread over us the Sukkah of peace, over us, over your holy city, Jerusalem. Barukata Adonai, who spreads the Sukkah of peace over us, over his people, Yisrael, and over the most holy city, Jerusalem. And the people of Beit Amunah said, Amen. And the children of Israel shall keep HaShabbat. They shall observe HaShabbat through all their generations, as an everlasting covenant. Between me and the children of Israel, this is the sign for all times that in six days Adonai made the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, he abstained from his work and he rested. Exalted and sanctified be his great name. And the people said, Amen. In the world which he has created according to his will, and may he rule his kingdom, and may he bring forth his redemption and hasten the coming of his Mashiach. And the people said, Amen. In our lifetimes, in our days, and in the lifetime of the entire house of Israel, speedily, and in the very near future, and we all say to this, Amen. May his great name be blessed forever and for all of eternity. Blessed and praised, glorified, exalted, uplifted, honored, elevated, extolled be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is he. And the people said, Amen. Above all the blessings and all the hymns, praises and consolations that we might utter in this world, we all say, Amen. We now rise for the Amidah. If you're Jewish, I invite you to observe the Amidah according to your minhad. If you're not Jewish, I invite you to spend this time in personal prayer and meditation. The Amidah will go from page 98 to page 115. Please rise as you are physically able. Adonai, sifataki taku fia gita hila teka. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Blessed are you, Adonai our God, and God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham, God of Yitzhak, God of Yaakov, the Almighty, the Great, the Powerful, the Awesome, Most High Almighty, who bestows beneficent kindnesses, who possesses everything, who remembers the piety of the patriarchs, and who brings a redeemer to us, their children's children, for the sake of his name, with love. King, helper, deliverer, and shield, Rubita Adonai, shield of Abraham.
May it be your will, Adonai, our God, and God of our fathers, that you send Mashiach ben David speedily, and that under his authority, you restore the holy temple, the Beit HaMidrash, Makdash, speedily in our days, and grant us a share of your Torah, so that we may perform statutes of your will, and that there in Jerusalem, we may all serve you with a perfect heart. May this be your will, Hashem our God. May it be so. May there be abundant peace from heaven, life, plenty, salvation, consolation, deliverance, healing, redemption, forgiveness, atonement, relief, rescue for us, for all of his holy nation, Yerushalayim, and for the Jews scattered throughout the world, and for those who are standing with us among the Noahide people. And let us all say, Amen. May he who makes peace in his high heavens, may he in his mercy make peace for us and for all of Israel. We say, Amen. Blessed is Adonai who is blessed. Blessed is Adonai who is blessed forever and forever. And the congregation said, Amen. It is our obligation to praise the master of all, to ascribe greatness to the creator of the world, in the beginning, that he has not made us like the other nations and lands. He has not positioned us like the families of the earth. He has not assigned our portion to be like theirs, nor our lot like all of their multitudes, because they prostrate themselves to vanities, to materialism, to nothingness. They pray to gods who cannot possibly deliver them. But we prostrate ourselves only before the supreme king of kings, the holy one. Blessed is he. He who spreads out the heavens and who establishes the earth and the seat of his glory is in the heavens above and the abode of his invincible might is in the loftiest of heights. He is our God. There is none other. Our king is true. Everything else is insignificant. As is written in the Torah, you shall know this day and you shall take it to heart, to your consciousness, to your core, that Adonai is God in the heavens above and that upon the earth below there is nothing else. We therefore put our hope in you, Adonai, our God, to soon behold the glory of your might in banishing all idolatries from the earth. Then the false gods will be utterly exterminated to perfect the world as the kingdom of El Shaddai, and all of mankind will then invoke your name and turn back to you, all the wicked ones of the earth. They will all realize and know all the inhabitants of the world, Jew and Gentile alike, that to you every knee must bend, and that every tongue must swear allegiance to you. Before you, Adonai, our God, they will all bow and prostrate themselves. To the glory of your great name, they will all give honor. Then you will reign over them all, soon, forever and forever, because the kingdom is yours, Adonai, to all of eternity. You reign in glory, as it is written in your Torah, Adonai shall reign forever and forever. And as it is said, Adonai shall be king over the whole earth. On that day, Adonai shall be Echad. He shall be one, and his name shall be one. And in your Torah, Adonai our God, the following is written. Shema 
Israel, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Listen, Israel. Adonai is our God. Adonai is one. And because he is one, we know shalom. Even in the midst of pain, even in the midst of suffering, even in the midst of full-out persecution when it comes, we have shalom. Because we know that everything that comes into our experience comes by the will of God. And that through everything that happens, we can draw closer to the beloved. And since this is true, we have nothing to worry about. We say, for the seemingly good and the seemingly bad, Baruch Hashem, you are in control. Send your messengers. Work out your will. We're on board with it. Page 128. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hasharet, Malachi Elyon, Mi Melech, Malachi Malachim HaKadosh, Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Bohem le shalom, Malake, shalom, Malake, Malake, his angels he will command on your behalf to guard you in all of your ways Adonai will guard your departures and your arrivals from now until forever. And one of the glorious ways that he does this is through the family. And the cement that holds a family unit together is mom. I'm thrilled to see Larry's beautiful mom there with him tonight. It is women like this who make it so that we Jews continue to exist generation by generation. We are blessed to have your presence here, ma'am. I am honored that you're joining us. We're on page 131. A valorous wife, who can find? Her value is far greater than pearls. Her husband's heart relies on her and he lacks no fortune. She repays him with goodness and never with harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and linen and she works them willingly with her hands. She's like merchant ships coming from afar. She brings food. She rises while it's still night and gives food to her household and daily portions to her maids. She considers a field and she buys it. And from the fruit of her own hands, she plants a vineyard. She girds herself with might and she strengthens her arms. She senses that her endeavors are good. And so her lamp is not extinguished at night. She puts her hand to the spindle and her palms support the weaving rod. She spreads out her palms to the poor. She extends her hands to the needy. 
she has no fear for her household because of the snow, because she knows that her entire household is clothed with scarlet wool. She makes herself bedding. Her clothing is made from the finest of purple wool. Her husband is well known at the gates as he sits among the elders of the land. She makes garments and she sells them. She provides belts for the peddlers to sell. Strength and splendor are her clothing as she awaits her final day with confidence. She opens up her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is ever on her tongue. She keeps watch over the ways of her household and she does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and they praise her. Her husband, he praises her too. He says, many daughters have attained to valor, but you, my dear, you, my love, you have surpassed them all. Favor is deceptive. Beauty is vain. But a God-fearing woman, she will be praised. So give her the fruits of her hands and let her own deeds praise her at the gate. We turn now to page 141. 141. On the sixth day, the heavens and the earth were completed, and so were all their hosts. God completed by the seventh day, literally the very second millisecond of the beginning of the seventh day, his work which he had done. And he abstained on the seventh day from all the work which he had done, and God blessed HaShabbat, and he sanctified it. For on it, he abstained from all the work which God had created to do. Attention, my brothers and sisters. Attention, my masters. Attention, my Talmudim. Attention, members and friends of Beta Muna congregation. Baruch Atah Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Borei Peri Hagafin. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the vine. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your mitzvot, who chose us and who gave us your holy Shabbat as a heritage, with love and with favor to commemorate the creation, the first days of holy convocations, commemorating the exodus from Egypt. You gave to us, Adonai, your holy Shabbat, with love and with favor for a blessing and a heritage. Baruch Adonai, who sanctifies HaShabbat. Lachaim, my friends, to life. Am Yisrael Chai, the people of Israel live on. We'll finish that tomorrow in our morning service. Bezrit Hashem. We are on page 42. Psalm 23? No, ma'am. Page 140, page 142 for the blessing of the children. Okay. We did the Tehillim, I think you're thinking about in the morning service. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's tonight, but we're past that. For our sons, if you have your children with you, I invite you to gather them around. If not, hold them in your consciousness. See their shining faces. Think of the time of joy that you've had with your children. As we say, Yesimecha Elohim ka Ephraim veche Manasseh. May God make you like Ephraim and Manasseh. And for our daughters, Yesimech Elohim ke Serah Rivka Rechel Veleah. May God make you like Serah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah. And for all of our children, both those who are born and those who are waiting to be born in the womb, and for each and for each one of us, because we are all the children of Hashem, we say together, 
Yivarecha Adonai Vayishmarecha Yair Adonai Pana Vilecha Vihunecha Yisa Adonai Pana Vilecha Vayisim Lecha Shalom. Tomorrow, my Devar Torah will be about that prayer, that blessing. I hope you'll join us for it. We now rise for the Misha Bear. May the one who blessed our fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, and our mothers, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, continue to bless those we now bring before you, Adonai, and before your holy Torah. May they thank you and bless you, our beloved, our healer of all flesh, our writer of all wrongs. As is the Minhag here at Beit Amuna, I now invite you to unmute your mics and share the names of people that you're praying with or for. And if you'd like, very, very briefly, a little bit about what you're praying about without revealing any personal information that might make them feel uncomfortable for us. Anyone? Well, I'd like, uh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> it's all right, Carol. Go ahead. Carol, go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, for my husband, George, that his eyes will be healed so he can pass the driving test. Amen. And for, Amen. And for my uh, granddaughter in law, uh, her mother, we have on the list, Charlene God. She has been, come down with a disease that there is no cure. And they're putting her in hospice. Uh, and she's still not healing from the surgery of removing her leg and her foot. And so I ask for prayer for her. She's having a hard time. She lost her father at 15. And now at 32, she's losing her mother. My prayers are with me. Mm -hmm. I would modify your prayer for George just slightly, however. I don't want to only pray that George passes his test. I want to pray that George's eyesight is such that the press, the test becomes a non-issue. So we want to specifically Amen. pray for his eyes, that his eyes will fully recover so that passing the test will be a non-issue, which we pray he does pass. Amen. 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 Anyone, anyone else? Yes, I do. I want to pray for all of what, what Carol said and Alan Margolis and Ahuva and, and, um, and for David and for, for you, Rabbi, and for Ahuva and for Carol and all the people. And um, we need to pray for those that are written like me. I also, and Donna, I'm, I guess Donna has something too. Yeah. I guess um, we have to pray for everybody to be healthy and well. Thank you. Right. Did uh, Donna have something special she wanted us to pray for? Donna, you have something? Oh. I want to add Marissa. Marissa. My, uh, that's my uh, niece. She has a broken leg. Her niece has a broken oh, leg. Uh, okay. Anyone else? Uh, David Ben Sarah. Amen. Ellis Perlberg is recovering from heart surgery. And Nancy Rose, who has stage four lung cancer. Amen. And also Gavi, who has suffered from her own physical ailments while she takes such wonderful care of David. We pray for you as well, Gabi. Thank you. Uh, anyone else? Um, I just want to add my two cents for uh, Gavi and David, uh, Carol and George, Miriam, uh, you and Ahuva, and for just my own family in general. Amen. Anyone else? Anyone else? We have a special prayer tonight for um, Veronica Port's mother. Her name is Marge. Uh, Veronica's mom, as we've been praying for quite a while, had apparently a series of strokes over a course of time. She's currently in hospital 
trying to improve her motor skills um, over the after having the strokes that she's had over the past few months. We want to pray for um, Veronica's mother because of the COVID restrictions in Canada. Veronica lives in far northwestern United States. Because of the COVID restrictions in Canada, Veronica is not being permitted to cross the border or get in the hospital to see her mom. So we also want to pray for Veronica that she'll have peace because she simply can't do it. And I know how guilty or whatever that may bring feelings, but we pray for her to have a peace of mind. Also, Veronica has her own mental, her own, not mental health, her own brain issues that she's been seeing doctors about uh, for aneurysms. And so we want to remember Veronica as well. We also come before Hashem and we pray for Ahuva Bat Sarah for finalizing the recovery from her surgery. I think she's pretty close to recovery, but she is still having a couple of problems that we're still praying about. So please remember Ahuva in your prayer. Andre Rivenall, I haven't heard from him. I've heard from him the last week or two about whether or not he's, he's able to go home yet to Australia. Uh, I think he may still be stuck in the United States, but we pray for his healing and for his home going. Uh, for my mom, Betty Bot Ali, who is in her mid 90s and uh, living in a home nearby here, we live about an hour and a half. Bill Trent, Bill Williams, Cecil, uh, Carol St. George, rather, Carol and Belcher and family. Carolyn White, Cecil Bot Devora of the Jewish Pro Life Foundation, Hannah Bela Bot Inez, Hannah Zela, Charles Mathis, Charlene Gott, Daniel Ben Florence, Darlene Brooks, David Ben Sarah, our school president, my friend David Reimer, David Kramerick, David Sweat, Deborah Opal, Dodie Heim, Donna Bot Evelyn, Dwight Meisner, Eddie Real, Edward McGregor, Eliana Simka Bot Esther. Evelyn Yosef and Timothy Sill, Frank Rotosky and family, Ganshan Polwan, Gabi Bot Sarah, George St. George, James Higgins, Jackson Denny, Joseph Pruitt, Joseph Stanley, Jackson Denny, Joseph Pruitt, again, typo, Joyce Woods, Kate Bryson, Kathy Everett, Kelsey Lynn Kramerick, Leah Bot Sarah, Lillian Bot Rubina Lane, Marge Port again. Marilyn Chernak, uh, Mary DeHart, Margaret Brown, Miriam Fogler, Miriam Jacob, Panina Lehman, Roger Simmons, Selah and Eladio Herrada and their family. They, I'll tell you in a minute. Saif Ben Yehuda, Shira Harris, Shlomo Silverman, Yoher Yasa, Tommy Muller and her father, Terry Kaufman, Thomas Martinez, Timothy Ben Evelyn, Veronica Port, Vicki Mathis, Victoria Lauber, Yaakov Ben Raquel Razel, Yair Bat Sera Emanu, Yair Black, and Yosef Zara Bat Pudel Manya. We pray for these people and for all other people who may be having issues currently that we're not aware of, but who are associated with us or with God's people in general. We pray for Hashem's mercy and his compassion with Amisha Barrick of Debbie Friedman, the late, great Debbie Friedman, which is on page eight in our supplemental songbook, and also the El Narafa Nala, which is on page nine, which is based on Numbers 12, 13, when Moshe Rabbeinu was praying for his sister. May the source of strength bless the ones you make our lives and let us say Bless us, 
for being with us tonight. I hope you enjoyed the service. Hope you were blessed in some way through it. We will be here at Bezrat Hashem tomorrow at noon Eastern time zone. We hope you will join us then. So until then, I wish you all a Shabbat Shalom. We're going to Shabbat close, Shalom. We're going to close with a few songs. We'll hop over to the standard Shabbat Shalom. When that's finished, we're going to leave the folks on YouTube and me, we, and Facebook, but we can stay here in the Zoom room for a few minutes for a little bit of Oneg if you guys would like to talk. We begin by turning to page number 25 in our supplemental songbook. The supplemental songbook can be, per or it's free, can be gotten at baitimuna.org. You can download it, print it out, it's a PDF, do it however you want to do it. But we end this evening, we begin the end of this evening with the dinosaur song, a local favorite. There's a dinosaur there's a dinosaur knocking at my door, knocking at my door, and you can have my door, and you and you and you and and you 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 and and that we want everyone to be our mishpaka, to celebrate Shabbat together. We hope you do that, and we hope you feel the same as we turn to Hine Ma'atov. 
There's only one source for true and lasting peace. That is Adan Olam, the Lord and Master of the universe. The Lord of the universe, the master of the universe, who reigned before anything was created. When everything was made by his will, him 
he was acknowledged as king. And when everything shall end, he still all alone shall reign. He was, he is, and he will ever be in glory. And he is one. And there is none other to compare to him or to join with him. He is without beginning. He is without end. And to him belongs all dominion and all power. He is our God, our living God. To him we flee in times of grief. He is our miracle, our refuge. He answers us on the day that we call. And so to him we commit our spirit, both in the time of sleep and the time of awakening. And when our spirits finally leave, we know that God is with us. And knowing that, we shall not fear. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.